Hi everyone and welcome, this is the Apostate Prophet. If I went out and asked Muslims what the name of their great and amazing God is, they would most definitely agree that his name is Allah and always was Allah. If you think that too, then be ready for a surprise. A while ago I published a video about whether the God that Muslims worship is the same God that Jews and Christians worship. In that video I explained that God's name in Abrahamic belief before Islam is Yahweh, but that God's unique name in Islam is Allah. I explained that this is a major problem for Islam. Islam never mentions the name Yahweh, asserts that his name is Allah, and Muslims enthusiastically argue that his name is Allah and not Yahweh. But it really doesn't make any sense that God's name has suddenly changed on its way into Islam, or that Jews and Christians would have misunderstood or corrupted God's name. This topic is problematic for Islam, which is why it rarely comes up, which is why I definitely want to go into it. In this video today, I want to prove to you that in the formation of Islam, there has been a huge mistake, which proves that Islam was fabricated by ignorant 7th century people. I will prove to you that the Islamic God is ignorant, and that he doesn't even know his own name, because he was just a 7th century man's best friend. So let's go. As said, in Abrahamic religion, God's name is Yahweh. We find proof for that in the Torah. In Exodus 3.13-16, to Moses talks to God and asks him what his name is, and what he should say to the Israelites. God tells him, I am that I am, and that this is what Moses should say to the Israelites. He goes on and says that he is Yahweh, the God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, and says, this is my name forever, the name you shall call me from generation to generation. In the next verse, it continues saying, Go and gather the elders of Israel and say to them, Yahweh, the God of your fathers, has appeared to me. So it is pretty clear that Yahweh is God's unique name. Now, it would be expected that Islam either mentions Yahweh and accepts this as Allah's name, or Islam never mentions Yahweh and rejects this as Allah's name. The second option is true, or that's what Muslims believe. And here we come to a huge problem for Islam. It is very common among religious groups to use theophoric names, names that contain the name of your god. This was also a common practice among the Israelites and their prophets, and since Islam adopts and claims the entire biblical tradition and religion and their prophets, these prophets appear in Islam too. In fact, many Muslims still use these names from the Israelites today. I have encountered quite a few Muslims by the name Zakaria. Zakaria is the Arabic Islamic form of the biblical name Zechariah. I have also met at least two people, two Muslims, who had the name Yahya. One of them a very devout believer of Allah, by the way. Yahya is the Arabic or Islamic form of John, or in Hebrew, Yohanan or Yahya. These two names are theophoric names that contain the name of the biblical God, Yahweh. Zechariah means Yahweh remembers. Yahya means Yahweh is gracious, if it is Yohanan, or Yahweh lives, if it is Yahya. Now, if I asked Muslims what they think about the fact that their God's name is Yahweh, they wouldn't know how to answer, and they would stridently claim that his name is Allah and nothing else, and that he has some 99 meaningless names that describe his attributes. The Quran itself affirms that Allah's name is Allah. It even briefly tells the story of Moses and Allah twice, and says that Allah called himself Allah, which is his name. The Quran calls him Allah all the time. Muhammad calls him Allah. Allah himself says in the Quran, I am Allah. The Muslim creed says, there is no God but Allah. La ilaha illallah. This is in contrast to the Bible saying, there is no God but Yahweh. In fact, Muslims use their own theophoric names very popularly. The most common Islamic theophoric name is Abdullah, which literally means servant of Allah or slave of Allah. But the names Zakaria, which means Yahweh remembers, and Yahya, which means Yahweh is gracious, are both mentioned in the Quran. And the Quran is supposed to be the direct word of Allah. Of course, the author of the Quran didn't have any idea who or what Yahweh is, and that these names contain Yahweh. Ironically, according to the Quran, it was also Allah himself who gave Yahya 
John the Baptist, the name Yahya, John, which praises Yahweh, not Allah. There is another name mentioned in the Quran, which is so big, it kills it all. Jesus. In Islam, Jesus' name is Isa, and is weirdly supposed to have come from the Hebrew Yeshua. Yeshua means to save, and etymologically comes from Yehoshua, which means Yahweh saves. Jesus was a huge character. Why does Jesus, such a big character, such a big name, mentioned throughout the Quran too, contain the name of Yahweh, not of Allah? Ironically, according to the New Testament, it was God himself who gave him that name. Now, with all of this, of course you could say, maybe Yah is just a title. Yahweh is just a word used for God. Such an objection could come, and it could even be considered a reasonable objection. Because some cultures, like Christians, use theophoric names that contain the title of God, not the name of God. Among Christians, names such as Theodore, Gottfried, Bogdan, or Amadeus are names that mention God by his title, not by his name. Therefore, Muslims could argue that Yah or Yahweh was also just a title used by Jews. And this is where we have another major problem, and a final blow. There is a character that appears both in the Quran and the Bible. Elijah, in Arabic, Elias, in Hebrew, Eliyahu. Eliyahu literally means, my God is Yahweh. El stands for God, Yahu stands for Yahweh. It couldn't be clearer. This name makes it clear that God's name is Yahweh, and the Quran explicitly mentions this name. How would a Muslim explain the fact that in their holy scripture, supposedly authored by Allah, Allah himself uses the name Ilyas, which literally means my God is Yahweh, as opposed to my God is Allah. See, when Jews remember Elijah, they remember him as my God is Yahweh, which is perfect. When Christians remember Elijah, they remember him as my God is Yahweh, which is perfect. When Muslims remember Elijah, they remember him as my God is Yahweh, when their God's name is Allah and not Yahweh. Doesn't this look terrible for Islam? What is your explanation to this? There is even a Quran verse that mentions all the four characters mentioned in the Quran that contain the name Yahweh. Of course, the author of the Quran did this unknowingly. These are only the names mentioned in the Quran, by the way. Beyond these, Yusha, Joshua, is mentioned in the Hadith and means Yahweh is salvation. The Bible mentions Micaiah, which means who is like Yahweh. Obadiah, servant of God. Notice the similarity to Abdullah, servant of Allah. Isaiah, Yahweh is salvation. Jeremiah, Yahweh will raise. Zephaniah, protected by Yahweh. Joel, Yahweh is God, as opposed to Allah is God, etc. Notice how all these Israelite names contain Yahweh at the beginning or the end of their names. These are in contrast to other names mentioned in the Bible that were dedicated to other gods, such as Jezebel, glory to Baal, or Ishbal, man of Baal. Muslims mention that God's name is Allah, and that even the old Israelites, even the prophets, Abraham and Moses, called him by that name, Allah. If that is so, then why do all these Abrahamic, supposedly holy names, contain the name of Yahweh and say, my God is Yahweh, or Yahweh is God? Okay, some people might still have an objection here and think, how could that have happened? I mean, how could the Muslims get God's name wrong? That's huge. Well, if we go back to Exodus 3.15, which we mentioned at the beginning of the video, there is another word in that verse that will sound very familiar to Muslims, and quite similar to Allah. And some Muslims will even have raised that objection at this point. That word is Elohe, or Elohim, which stands for God. It literally means God, as in the title. Eloh is God's title, while Yahweh is his name. If you read Exodus 3.15 and say the Hebrew words were appropriate, this becomes clear. Elohim also said to Moses, Say to the Israelites, Yahweh, Elohe of your fathers, Elohe of Abraham, Elohe of Isaac, and Elohe of Jacob, has sent me to you. This, Yahweh, is my name forever, the name you shall call me from generation to generation. Elohim, God, says to Moses that he is the God, Elohe, and his name is Yahweh. 
This is repeated numerous times throughout the Bible, in instances like Yahweh Elohim, Yahweh God, or Yahweh Eloheinu, Yahweh is our God. The word Eloh stands for the one God and is mentioned throughout the Bible, while the word Yahweh is the proper name of that God and is mentioned nearly 7,000 times in the Bible. This word Eloh is a Semitic word for the one creator God. It was El or Elion in old Canaanite languages, Elah or Elaha in Aramaic, Eloh or Elohim in Hebrew, and it is El Elah or Elah or Allah in Arabic. It describes a position of power or a god, any god in general. It was also used by the followers of Baal, for example, for their own god. In fact, the Bible itself uses it to refer to other things, such as the Israelites making themselves a god of gold, or a molten god, or the gods of strangers, or the gods of the Amorites, and so on. But Islam adopted this word, Allah, and turned it into God's name, because the creators of Islam didn't know better. This is most likely a misunderstanding by Muhammad and his Arab friends, who would hear the Christians and Jews in Middle Eastern lands refer to their God as El or Elah or Elohim out of respect, because Jews have this tradition of not pronouncing his name and replacing it with other words like Adonai, Lord, and referring to him by what he is, the God, not by what his name is, Yahweh. That's why the New Testament, for example, adopts this tradition and practice and refers to God always by what he is, the God or the Father, and not by his sacred name, Yahweh, which is, however, part of the Bible as it is mentioned abundantly in the Old Testament. Of course, Muhammad misunderstood all of this because of how bright he was. As a result, Muslims falsely know their God as Allah today, because their God is actually an ignorant man from the 7th century, Muhammad. All he knew was that Christians and Jews call their God Elah or Allah. This is a great way in which Christians and Jews totally confused Muhammad and today's Muslims, who have no idea of the name Yahweh. Dear Muslims, you have been fooled. It's time to wake up. Seriously. It is kind of embarrassing to see that Islamic theology and knowledge is so weak that it is completely inconsistent with itself and revolves around a god that doesn't know his own name and a 7th century self-proclaimed prophet who was ignorant enough not to understand what the name of the god was that he was just hijacking for his newfound religion. Anyways, I'm out. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to like, to subscribe, and to share this with everyone. Everyone, even your grandparents and your grandchildren. Most of my videos are not monetized, so you can watch them without ads. If you want to support me and what I'm doing, then you can support me on Patreon. Thank you so much for your support. I'll be back with more. For now, have a great day and stay away from Islam.